Hello, hello, hello. This is Bishop Wooden, and uh, I'm glad to be coming to you with our little Thursday chat. Today, however, is Wednesday. As you know, when you see this, I will either have already arrived in uh, uh, Connecticut or I'm in, on the plane on my way there preaching a men's conference for the next two nights. And I need your prayers. I need you to pray for me that uh, a word of utterance be given to me that I will preach the word of God with power and authority. And I want to set some men on fire. Um, up there in, in Connecticut. I want to encourage men to fight for the lives of the unborn. I want to encourage our men to be good dads and good husbands. I want to encourage our men to be straight and to, to fight for the biblical definition of marriage. I want to encourage our men to pay, pay their bills, to love their children, dad to love their daughters and sons and their wives. I want to challenge the men. I want to challenge our men to be achievers and to be strong and not to be whiners and crybabies and, and that kind of a thing. And I need you, the members of the church, to pray for my safety and well-being. Uh, Elder Rayford is traveling, Minister Rayford is traveling with me. And pray that we, turn, we return properly at the appointed hour. Also, I need you to do this. As we push back against the devil, we're pushing uh, back against the enemy. And I have received so many comments on this pushback series we, we're doing, which is connected to our Formula 16, uh, James 4 and 7. Submit yourselves, therefore, unto God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. We'll put the devil on the run. One of the ways that we push back and one of the things that we push back from is that tendency where people will say, well, uh, the, uh, the cat's away so the mouse will play. Pastor's out of town, so I don't have to uh, go uh, show up tonight. I'm going to just stay home and take the night off. Well, the Apostle Paul said this to the church at, uh, uh, to, to the Philippians. He says, wherefore, my beloved, this is Philippians 4. Uh, two exactly, two, excuse me, two and twelve. Wherefore, my beloved, as you have always obeyed, it, not in my presence only, but much more in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. That is, work on your salvation with fear and trembling. That is, with, uh, with the optimal uh, 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 effort and doing those things that you know that you're supposed to do. And you know the upper room church of God in Christ is more than one man. You know that the upper room church of God in Christ is more than me. The upper room is all of us. And when the pastor's out of town, I want uh, people, if a visitor comes, I want people to come and see that the saints of, at the upper room do not have what is called pastor salvation. We can only show up when the pastor's in town and when the pastor's away, we're away. So come tonight, uh, get here for the prayer and pray for me. Amen. That the Lord will use me and, uh, uh, and keep me. And Sunday, Sunday, the Lord willing, should the Lord delay his coming, Sunday, I'm going to hit the devil uh, in the eye. We'll be at the church. I'm excited about it. We're going to push back and we're going to uh, uh, put the devil on the run. And I'm still dealing with that wicked Ann uh, Bailey and those 10 things that she put in place, the enemies of the faith, to try and eradicate Christianity. I have news for Ann, and for all who will try to eradicate Christianity from America and from the world, and here's my word, Jesus said, upon this rock, I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. <laughs> God bless you. Thank you for watching.